had periods where I definitely didn't think I would get to 100 games, um, especially through injury um, and early in my career. Um, I guess thinking back to before I started, I was a late convert, so um, to play 100 was probably never really in my calculations, especially as a teenager playing basketball. Um, but oh, to get there, I guess um, I have a pretty uh, good work ethic and um, also really good people around me at, at the Brisbane Lions, so uh, it's definitely helped me get there. Stephen Martin, how that got through, I'll never know. In my diet, I like to get a protein hit every two to three hours. Um, pretty important to help build and retain strength and muscle. Um, I start my day with, uh, I blend up a big smoothie, it's probably actually about two litres worth, um, with a lot of fruit and um, some uh, dark leafy greens um, for a bit of nutrition. I put a few chia seeds in there too and some protein powder. Um, I find that gets me going, it's easy to digest and a um, nice way to start the day. Um, I then tend to cut back carbs a little bit as the day goes on, especially at dinner time because uh, I don't need a sort of that uh, readily available energy at that time of day. I eat whole foods as much as possible. I cut out processed foods to a large degree. Um, I do still eat meat, uh, but I try to limit that. I, I try to limit my red meat particularly. And um, yeah, basically just a whole food approach for me. Um, I'm not smart enough to, to know, <laughs> I don't think anyone's smart enough to know um, the ideal uh, diet that um, is foolproof. So. But it, anecdotally, I, th I feel like what I've got going works pretty well for me and makes me feel good. I use supplements a fair bit um, just to get that. I mean, I don't want to be eating meat all day, so, you know, the USN powder is really good for that. The protein powder, um, I like to use that immediately post-workout um, and also throughout the day, as I said, in my smoothie and, and here and there just to get that protein hit. Um, and then intra-workout, I, lo I love the BCAAs, um, just to keep my muscles um, uh, anabolic because y your muscles want to break down in that, in that stress phase and um, it sort of keeps that switch on for you. So yeah, the BCAAs intra-workout is pretty important too. I've wanted to increase my strength every year, so um, coming in as a late convert, um, I was sort of a skinny, you know, 21 year old. Um, so, over the last nine years I've worked on my strength, um, particularly the last three years as I said. My upper body is naturally not uh, that strong um, and muscular so um, a few years ago I decided to do uh, extra weight sessions um, every day so uh, for about three years I've sort of committed to that and, um, and been you know, pretty strict on myself to try to get in every day to do an extra session. For me, I love fundamental lifts. I love the idea of progressively overloading and just getting stronger at those basic lifts. So, personally, I love the deadlift. Um, I really like it for a sort of a global exercise, especially to strengthen your back and your glutes. Upper body-wise, I love the bench press, like probably everybody. Just really good for your sort of your, your chest and your shoulders. And I love I love working on shoulders too. So, probably lateral raises for me is sort of one that I really enjoy doing. My focus going forward, um, as I've, I've put a bit of, bit, bit of muscle on, I, I want to um, keep that speed. I think that's probably my, uh, the cornerstone of my game, is to be able to, to um, outwork my opponents with speed. So through injury and, and whatnot and workload, I've sort of, that may have dropped off a little bit, so uh, I really want to get that back. I just work hard, like I just, I'm in there all the time. Um, I follow the, the rules of progressive overload, so I, I make myself lift heavier or more reps over time. I don't, I don't just go in there and mess around like I'm there for a, a purpose um, and I'm very strict on myself. I don't give myself you know, the easy out of feeling fatigued, I, I make myself go. Um, so I think being, being um, committed to it is, is the key and then having a little bit of Knowledge about nutrition is obviously very important too, uh, but I think the hard work is the main thing.